Welcome to part one of the GoToWebinar organizer training. In this tutorial, we will cover scheduling a webinar, managing scheduled webinars, and sending invitations. Here are the GoToWebinar roles and responsibilities. The organizer schedules the webinar and invites attendees. They start the webinar and manage all in-session controls. Next is the panelist. A panelist has less control than an organizer, but is invited with more rights than a normal attendee. A panelist is often invited as a guest presenter at a webinar. Being a panelist is more of a responsibility than a fixed role. The panelist shares their screen with the audience, and the organizer can give and take away this responsibility at any time. Any attendee can be promoted to the role of panelist during the webinar. The panelist can also answer questions assigned to them by the organizer. Attendees are invited to participate in the meeting. They are invited to watch and listen, and may ask questions via the question and answer pane. You may have a GoToWebinar personal account or a corporate account. If you do not have an organizer login and password for a corporate account, please contact your company's GoToWebinar administrator. If you want a personal account, opt to try it free or buy now from GoToWebinar.com. The GoToWebinar software can be installed on as many computers as you would like. When you start a GoToWebinar session from any computer, the software will be installed automatically. If you are asked to install it, please download and run the executable. To schedule a webinar and invite attendees, you can click Schedule from GoToWebinar.com. Password resets are available at any time by clicking Forgot Password on the login page. You will also be able to access webinar setup by right-clicking on the daisy in your system tray and going to Schedule a Webinar. Both of these methods will take you to the Schedule a Webinar page. For this tutorial, I will use a standard webinar. Webcasts are streamed webinars and recorded webinars are pre-recorded events. These webinar options are explained in more detail in other videos. Begin by giving your webinar a title. Next, select the frequency of the webinar you are creating. This allows attendees to choose what dates to register for. For this example, I will set up one session for a specific date and time. Don't forget to adjust your time zone as needed and click Schedule when all is complete. Here is the management page for this scheduled webinar. If you want to change the webinar title or the date and time, click on either to edit. Down here, you can add webinar details to your calendar or invite organizers and panelists for your webinar. Down below, each of these tabs allows you to adjust specific settings for your webinar. The first of these is the Settings tab. Within the Settings tab, you can turn on automatic recording, you can view your audio numbers and access codes, and create a welcome message. You can also add the names of other presenters at the webinar if desired. Next, we have the Branding and Colors tab. This allows organizers to change their account logo and adjust their featured image. These will both appear on your registration and confirmation emails. You can adjust the featured color of your invite, and you can also view your registration page. The Share Event tab shows the organizer the registration URL and the webinar ID. You can have the invitation emailed to you, copy the event information, or just preview it. The Registration tab allows the organizer to set registration limits, add email notifications, and decide whether or not registrants will be approved automatically. You can have registrants sent to a specific website after they register, have them directed to watch a video, and even require a special password to enter the webinar. Organizers can use the basic registration form or choose to add more questions for registrants. You can even create and add source tracking codes to track where people register from. The Emails tab lets the organizer change the Reply To address, edit the registration confirmation email, and adjust reminders and follow-up email preferences. Finally, the Engage Your Audience tab gives the organizer the ability to add videos, handouts, polls, and surveys during a webinar. They can be utilized before, during, and after a webinar event. These options also work if you choose a webcast or recorded type of webinar, just slightly differently. 
Now your webinar is all set and ready to go. At any time, from any computer, just log on to your account and start your webinar session from your home page. For details on hosting a GoToWebinar event, please watch our tutorial named Organizer Training, Part 2, Hosting. And best of luck with all your GoToWebinar events.